Vesicular cystitis is an uncommon form of chronic cystitis identified by the recognition of tiny, clear vesicles spread diffusely over the bladder wall in some women with recurrent urinary tract infections. These vesicular lesions are commonly observed on the floor of the bladder, including the trigon, and also very anteriorly near the bladder neck area. Women afflicted by this condition have frequent urinary tract infections and no durable response to oral or intravenous antibiotics. This movie exemplifies a few cases of vesicular cystitis, illustrates the appearance of the bladder wall after fulguration of these lesions, and briefly reports on experience with managing these difficult bladder pathology. During cystoscopy, one can see the many small, tiny, mostly clear, but sometimes pus-filled vesicles sitting on the surface of the bladder. They are in fields next to each other and without mucosal reaction of redness or inflammation when compared to the more common cystitis cystica. These vesicles seem to ascend from the bladder base to the anterior bladder wall, oftentimes sparing the posterior bladder wall and dome. During fulguration with a Bugby electrode on a low setting of 20 or even 25, they blanch out but do not shrink or go away. In several instances, it is clear that they are deeply rooted and have spread out underneath the urothelial surface, confirming they are well embedded in the tissues. A roller bowl has been used at times when there is a myriad of them over a large field since fulgurating them one by one is too tedious. Six months after fulguration, it is common to observe new lesions interspersed with areas of complete mucosal healing. Frequently, the extent of these new lesions is markedly decreased compared to the original situation, resulting in a reduction in the rate of the subsequent infections. However, repeat fulguration is sometimes necessary. In our recently reported series, due to antibiotic recalcitrant recurrent urinary tract infection episodes and despite repeated fulguration procedures, a few patients were forced to undergo a robotic cystectomy with urinary diversion to control the course of these infections, including urosepsis episodes. In one such case, a vesicle was recovered from the bladder specimen, as shown. During routine biopsy, the vesicles tend to collapse and cannot be retrieved for study. To this date, fascicular cystitis remains an enigma in the terms of the development, progression, and appearance of these clear vesicles, predominantly situated on the bladder base and anterior bladder wall. In our limited experience, the management of this form of chronic cystitis has been very challenging, routinely defying antibiotic therapies and even fulguration procedures at times. 